The dosage calculations formula method is an equation that is desired over on hand or desired over have, kind of however you learned it. Personally, I hate this method. I never teach it to my tutoring members in my live tutoring program. And I barely even know the equation myself because there's so many better ways to solve dosage calculations. And by better, I mean ways that'll make you feel more confident and more empowered so that you can look at a dosage calculation, know what information, what numbers to pick out, where to put them to set up a problem, and then how to easily do the math without having to do like a million conversions before you can even use a formula. Now, before y'all come at me about, oh, but the formula method works for me. Like if it works for you, that's great. I'm not mad at you, okay? Like don't fix what ain't broke. But I get contacted by the thousands and thousands of students where a formula method doesn't work for their brains. That's why I like teaching a form of dimensional analysis that's very, very specific to dosage calculations. So this isn't like dimensional analysis you might have learned in chemistry. Instead, it's a very straightforward step-by-step -step way to go through a problem every single time the same exact way to get to the correct answer. And that equals 100% on your required dosage calculations exam in nursing school. So if you're tired of formula method and you're ready to learn another way, check out my bio link for options because I have a self-study course that teaches you my method of dosage calculations in less than an hour. And it's also included in my live tutoring membership as well, where I can also help you and give you feedback. And if you get stuck, you can post pictures of the problem that you've been trying to solve so that I can help you get unstuck very quickly.